Uh, this is a 2003 Volkswagen Beetle 2.0 GSL GLS and the radiator is leaking so I I took the uh, front bumper off there are lots of uh, screws going here to the inliner take them all off and I didn't bother to take this the uh, skirt off the inliner off because it's just a waste of time just lose the uh, screws here and two in the back of the uh, tires the rear and the front and all around here and then there are three three ten millimeter here and there are two over here and there is another one underneath the fen fender here and there is another one right here so lose all these bolts and then loosen these bolts as well all around the car and also on the other side same thing same so I didn't bother to remove the uh, inliner just loosen all the screws and then three bolts here there's two underneath there's two underneath the uh, side skirt and then two here one on the top and then another one on the top and then there's another one here so I was able to remove the bumper and I put the bumper in the garage right here and took that uh, metal bar reinforcement bar out too then you have to take the radiator support apart so to take the radiator support apart we need to loosen the bolts here and then another bolts here and then there's a uh, two screw here up top and bottom there's two here top and bottom and then loosen the uh, hood cable and then you take the radiator support off then you get to the uh, condenser and radiator and this radiator is pretty bad see the corrosion here it was leaking so I'm going to remove the bolts here bolts here another two here and then replace the uh, radiator and then we'll put back put it back and then well uh, just reverse everything I'll uh, show you guys a step to put things back so we'll see in a bit this is a 2003 Volkswagen Beetle 2.0 GLS after the radiator is put installed the car is ready for sale so it's pretty nice no rust uh, drives pretty good the only problem is the speedometer is not working and also the radio cannot turn on the radio so there that's the only two reason the only two uh, problem has on this car but somebody may know how to troubleshoot the speedometer And it's going for going out for sale after the radiator is installed. Uh, pretty cheap, about seventeen hundred. It's two thousand three. It has one fifty four thousand miles. Quiet engine, runs pretty good. I drove all the way from Brooklyn Center to uh, St. Paul. So we'll show you guys after I install the radiator and put things in reverse order. See you guys in a bit. Okay, I got the radiator out. The radiator and the fan out. It's pretty. Uh, not that hard. <clears throat> the easiest for me is I have to loosen the hose, the upper hose. 
and then the bottom holes and then loosen all the plugs here and then I'm able to just lift the uh, radiator and the fan out so I'm going to remove everything apart and then put in the new radiator here so we'll see in a bit okay now the ready the radiator is put fans back onto the radiator and the radiator is ready to put back into place so now it's ready to install now the radiator is installed the hose is hooked up and the electrical part plug is plugged radiator is in place now just put in the uh, radiator support and then the reinforcement bar so the bumpers goes going back up and should be done in a couple hours okay now the radiator is installed and the radiator support is installed and the reinforcement bar is installed so it's I'm ready to put the uh, uh, front bumper on and that will be done as soon as I put the uh, front bumper on it's not too difficult it just takes some time so it can be done And this kind of cars of Volkswagen Beetles, whenever you want to change the condenser or the radiator, you have to take everything off. The front bumper, the bumpers all around, and then the reinforcement bar, and then the radiator support. Then you have access to the condenser and the radiator and the fans. So it's not easy, it's not hard, it's uh, challenging, it takes time. And these cars are the most, uh, I should say, the most difficult to change, uh, replace the radiator and uh, fans. So no more Beatles for me. I got these Beatles from a friend who was going to junk it and they gave him like uh, $300 for it and the car still looked pretty nice pretty nice uh, there was some issue with the car couldn't get it start so I had to fix a lot and then uh, uh, so many things wrong so I got them all fixed and the only issue left is the uh, speedometer is not uh, working so the gas meter and the RPM works but not the speedometer I mean not the speedometer yes and the radio the radio is not working so it probably be the speed sensor or yes yeah, might be the speed sensor I don't know we'll find out it's 2003 Volkswagen Beetle GLS 2.0 Fog light Got a little bit leak in the uh, muffler. That's very nice shape. Runs very good.